16th of November 2023. Hello everybody, Sergey Baklikov, Baklikov live from St. Petersburg, Russia. This is the Gulf of Finland and this is Lachta Tower, a part of Lachta Center, the place where here will be the headquarters of Gazprom, the richest company of Russia. And now I came here that to see what's around Lachta Center. Little by little, they are finishing the works here. Let's check it out. Primorsky districts of St. Petersburg. Primorsky means next to the sea. And here we are literally next to the sea. As I told you, we are next to Gulf of Finland now. And the Gulf of Finland is a part of Baltic Sea. There's the park of 300 years of St. Petersburg. And look, just in the summer 2022, they are opened the first in the world ensemble of flagpoles. Look at this. Whoa. Three flags. On the flagpoles with the heights of 179 meters, the flags of Russia, Soviet Union, and the Russian Empire. Every flag has a size of 40 meters on 60 meters. Think about it. When I was driving here and my navigation used to show me that yet seven kilometers to go, but I already saw this flags so clear. Okay. All right, now what we can see, the territory of Lachta Center. You know, Lachta Center, it's not only the Lachta Tower, which is the tallest skyscraper, not only in Russia, but in the whole Europe. The height is 462 meters. And most of this building here will be the offices of Gazprom. In 2000, yet in 2021, the uh, legal address of Gazprom company was re-registered by this address. By the way, it's called Lachta because exactly this area historically called Lachta. Lachta and the Olgino. Olgino. This is the new monument to Peter the Great our emperor and the founder of St. Petersburg. The thing is, when back in 1725 Peter the Great died, he died because he was sick and he got sick when he was rescuing uh, the sailors uh, who got a, a ship break on the banks of Lachta. So now this embankment around Lachta Center looks pretty great already. It is called Atkrite Nabrezhne, opened embankments. Yeah, because you see it's like opened, opened for the view. The bicycle lanes. Six hundreds of bicycle lanes here around the Lachta Center. The trees, a young trees. You see there's yet the support of this young trees in order to protect them from the winds. And believe me, here now it's uh, pretty quiet, but Sometimes it's really windy here, especially here on the open space uh, next to the Gulf of Finland. These trees are even winterized now. They are winterized, winterized until the days when they will grow up strong enough to live on their own.
This is the residential complex. There is the hotel, luxury apartments, spa salon, lobby bar. And that was developed with a company called Concord. The company that used to belong to Prigozhin. Yes, exactly that one. Nice benches. The plants, you know, such an herb garden. Herbs garden reminds me of the herbs garden in the New Holland Island. The trash bins, paper, plastic, mixed trash. Lachta Tower. I remember it is supposed to be finished in 2020, but at first the corona really delayed that term from the of the opening. And uh, uh, then I read recently that another reason of the delay is that in 2022, Gazprom broking the uh, contracts with the company that had to be responsible for the interior works. But you see, Most of things are done here, even all around the Lachta Center. I mean, in terms of the infrastructure. And uh, they yet developed the airport in the village called Levashovo. Everybody knows the international airport of Pulkovo in the south of St. Petersburg. But there's also the airport Levashovo. It's a small airport with a capability of 250 a person in an hour. I think now it's mostly works for the needs of Gazprom company. It's only 15 minutes drive from here. But as far as I know, eventually they will develop it for some regular flights as well. This ensemble of flagpoles looks really great. They are giants. I think the camera do not really show the scale. Such an amphitheater. You see the workers continue working here every single day. The works never stops. It's important to say that the opening of Lachta Center will become a big thing for the city because here's going to be not only far, not only the offices of Gazprom. Well, most of Lachta Tower will be taken with the offices of Gazprom, but also here will be 360 panoramic restaurant and on the very top there will be the 360 panoramic observation platform it is literally will be the highest point in St. Petersburg and highest point to observe St. Petersburg but you see uh, Lachta Center it's not only Lachta Tower that's also the 
uh, other buildings here they are called multifunctional buildings here will be everything even planetarium of course restaurants the uh, kids centers uh, galleries exhibit halls uh, medical center you know the like uh, sport halls it will be everything here Uh, the stores, yes. It is definitely will become one of the greatest points of attraction for people. With many things to do. They create many things to do here. Uh, there's Gazprom Arena. This is the main stadium in St. Petersburg. That's where football club Zenit, one of the greatest football clubs in Russia for all its history, playing there. And that's where uh, they used to play the games of World Cup 2018 in Russia. Really nice embankments. There is the chapel. And there is the yacht club. I once was taking you there when I was coming there uh, to film the Baltava battleship. The guys there recreated they rebuilt the Poltava battleship the exact copy of Poltava battleship built by Peter the Great at the moment no chance to go inside but as soon as it will become possible I of course will do that that's great If you wonder if the Gulf of Finland is getting frozen, then yes, I can say that at least here it's getting frozen because, well, I'm not sure if how it's here, but let's say right on that beach. Yes, that's the beach. Um, it's kind of shallow here. You really need to walk like 50, 60 meters until it will be at least one meter deep. The construction of Lachta Center started here with the complete zero, yet in 2012. So in fact the construction goes already for 11 years. But this construction project is not easy for realization. It's right on the bank of the Gulf of Finland. <clears throat> they have a very complicated uh, basement, or should I say foundation basement. Uh, 
Well, and of course, as I said, Corona. Corona really delayed it all, at least for two years. Meanwhile, there is already discussed the projects of Lachta Tower 2 or Lachta Center 2 and Lachta Center 3. Well, Lachta Center 2, Lachta Tower 2, they already plan to construct the tower with a height of 703 meters. Yes, symbolically, because St. Petersburg founded in 1703. Well, they are not gonna build the tower with a height of uh, 1,703 meters, but at least 703, 703 meters. A little snow today, it's uh, minus 2 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> it's not the first snow, but now feels like the first snow because the snow we had before, like about two weeks ago, it is all melted. There's even, you can see still the green grass, which is now covered with uh, fresh snow A lightweight airplane. Yeah, maybe flying to that Levashova airport. the swings I love it I love it so far you really can say that it's not too long left all the main works are done. <clears throat> I think 2025 as the latest. When Lachta Center globally will be done. I was planning to walk around, but now here it's closed, so I have to go back there and uh, uh, walk from the other side, from the side of the road.
many workers all around. Oh, I love it. No flight zone, no flight zone, all around Lachta Center. The road police. As you can see, the season of the scooters keep going, but if this snow will not melt in the nearest days, it's gonna over until the spring. Funny to see the Rosneft, Russian oil gas station here, next to the Gazprom headquarters. Gazprom, in fact, has its own gas station, gas stations all over Russia. Okay, in fact, that's all. We've got now a full imagination of what happens around the Lachta Center. In November 2023. It's not yet finished, but The works going all the time with hundreds of workers involved. <laughs> 